In this lesson, we're going to be looking at configuring boundaries and boundary groups. So we'll start with an overview of client assignment, and then we'll look at boundaries, and lastly, boundary groups. So client assignment. Client assignment is a process that determines the config manager site that the client will be checking into. And ultimately, the site manages the client. So a client can only be assigned to one site, and that site is where all of its information is stored in the database, and it's where we can go as administrators to manage that particular client. So every client must be assigned to a site. And if you remember, we can have in one single company or organization, we can have many sites, many primaries, secondaries, we can have a central administration site. So for larger organizations, that's not uncommon. But we have to manage site assignment somehow. Because if I do have several primaries, I got to make sure that each client gets assigned to the correct primary site. So it's done in a number of different ways. So configuring the client to automatically assign to a site based upon boundaries and boundary groups, or you can manually assign it. So a couple of different options. Automatic site assignment comes by publishing certain information into the Active Directory. And when you install the Config Manager client software, um, if it doesn't have a manual assignment, meaning that during installation I said, this is your site, if we didn't say anything, we just installed the software, then when it starts up, it has to go through this automatic detection process. It's going to query the Active Directory and try to determine where its assignment should be. Well, with uh, boundaries and boundary groups, we can create this automatic environment. A boundary has an understanding of subnets and IP addresses. So the first time I turn on that client, depending on what subnet it's on, it'll look at that, it'll see the boundary definition, will look up in Active Directory and get its assignment. So each subnet or range of IP addresses can essentially be ass uh, assigned a particular site assignment. That way, when the computers come online, they can determine their IP and then ultimately determine their site assignment. Site assignment happens once. That's it. It happens once. Now, we can manually change it, but when, we ha when we're dealing with this automatic site assignment, we want to make sure that the first time the client is turning on is when that computer is on the subnet that it's supposed to be on, so that it gets the correct site assignment. Again, we can manually change site assignment, but the automatic stuff happens only once. So site compatibility check includes checking for the version and operating system of the client, and then checking whether the client can access site information published in Active Directory. So this gives us the ability to sort of check and make sure that this stuff is uh, seems to be working correctly. 